Next up is LR276. Accommodating my other schedule. I appreciate that. Senator Ibach, welcome to the government committee. You know how to clear a room. And not in a good way. Thank you. Thank you. You're not going to make us cry, are you? Good afternoon, yeah. Chairman okay. Brewer and members of the. We'll, go ahead. we'll hold just a little bit longer. We'll yep. let some folks get out here and get Senator Comrade back. We'll just. Oh, okay. Thank we'll you. We'll start reading through your materials. Yeah, just there's for a lots bit of here. Uh, homework. Lots of homework. <laughs> but everyone wants to hear on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> I feel bad because I didn't. I thought judiciary would go longer than this committee, and I think we're about done over there. Is Wayne shooting through people pretty fast in there, is he? <laughs> I hit a couple shell bills. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, that will pick up the pace of shell bills. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon, Chairman Brewer, members of the Government Military and Veterans Affair Committee. My name is Senator Teresa Iba, I-B-A-C-H, and I'm here to present Legislative Resolution 276 for your consideration. If adopted, LR-276 would ask members of the United States Congress to enact federal legislation to change all counties in Nebraska, east of Sheridan County, Garden County, and Dual County to the central time zone as illustrated in the map I presented you. After being asked by numerous constituents over the interim to move the time zone line to the Nebraska-Colorado border, I began to explore the background of the issue and how this could be achieved. I discovered that time zone boundaries are established by federal law, but can also be changed by the United States Secretary of Transportation if adjustment is deemed to benefit commerce. Since time zones are suspended to be su supposed to be standardized, states cannot single-handedly make this change, which is why I'm presenting you with resolution instead of an actual bill. Over the last two decades, 15 communities have changed their time zone boundaries with the last change occurring in 2010. This is not a new concept to Nebraska. I provided you a map from Rand McNally from 1921, which shows the time zone line has been changed at least one time in Nebraska over the past 100 years, and a map of the current time zone so you can see all the changes over the past century across the nation. In fact, the community of Valentine experienced a change such as this in the 60s, Prior to the change, the central and mountain time zone ran right along Valentine's Main Street. If you were on the east side of the street, you were in central time zone. And if you were on the west side of the street, you were in mountain time zone. It was then determined it was beneficial to move Valentine into the central time zone and the boundary was moved further west. After the change, Valentine was no longer split. However, Cherry County remains split. To me and to the co-sponsors of this resolution, it makes sense to move the boundary line further west to the Cherry County line and to follow the county line south, which would create a relatively straight line that would bisect the state cleanly. Of all the legislation I have introduced, I have probably received the most feedback on this measure. There's been some opposition, but most times when I explained what LR-276 would seek to achieve, most of them believe it is actually it actually does make sense. That being said, as I mentioned before, the state cannot make this change alone. Even if the legislature were to adopt this measure, it would either require a change in federal law or US DOT Department of Transportation approval for this to go into effect. But I do believe this is a conversation worth having, which what which is why I have brought LR276 to you today. Uh, with that, I would be open to any questions you might have. All right. Thank you for that uh, intro. So if we go back here and we look at uh, this map of Nebraska, this was the old one from 1923. Yes. Uh, wow. That was a big notch right <laughs> in the middle of the state. When you did your research on this, was this a reason why they don't just run down a latitude or longitude and keep it simple? 
Well, it, it's based on the railroad. So once upon oh. a time when the railroad was running through, it was based on changes with them, with their trajectory. Huh. History well, day. And learn something new every day. Well, let's see, we don't have some questions for you. Senator Lowe. Thank you. Was there any thought of just moving it to the Nebraska border? You mean with the Panhandle as well? With the Panhandle as well. Just well, so I, all of Nebraska is under one time zone, whether it's mountain time or central time. Well, I've had a few of those conversations, but most people in the Panhandle do not want us to touch their mountain time zone. The, that's, that's why I said change to mountain, mountain time all over the state. You want to change the whole state to mountain time? Well, that would be a notch. You think this was a notch? <laughs> We'd have mountains. Never mind. <laughs> that that would be a barrier. Yes. Yeah. That would that would be a challenge. Okay. Other questions? Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, you'll stick around for close. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right, we'll start with proponents to LR276. We'll go to opponents to LR276. And how about anybody in the neutral on LR276? All right, so I told you it would be easy. Well, it's a, it's a Friday afternoon, and, and we appreciate your, your kindness on that one. Uh, let me read into the record here. Uh, on LR276, uh, zero proponents, six opponents, zero in the neutral. Uh, and with that, we will close on LR276. And we will also close our hearing for today.